Hello. Welcome to week number 45. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Do you have your bottom teeth? Hello. Oh no. Oh no. Hello. 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 <laughs> Welcome, welcome to week number 45 guys. Thanks if you've been here from the start, thanks very much for sticking around. Oh my gosh, shut up, it's not the year anniversary. This week's uh, vlog title is going to be called The Jack McCann Show. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, I got home from Vietnam. I feel like a bag of shit today. Like I've got a headache and I'm really tired. But, it was Drogba's birthday yesterday. Oh, Drogba. That's him three years old. Look at him. He's free. I'm going to go and get some presents, boy. It just so happens. It's a stunning day today after Drogba's birthday, so we decided to go to the beach. Take him to the Let's go to beach. the beach, beach, let's go get away. Try my Burberry scarf. Uh, it's not real. <laughs> Three pounds from Vietnam. <laughs> Are you feeling me? <laughs> Jack's just talking about how his big day out is a roaring success already. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> it is pretty beautiful. I'm confused. Are we walking him about here and then going to King Shoddy? No, we take him to the beach. This is Andrew's beach. Alright, we're all going to King Shoddy then. And then we'll go to King Shoddy after the this. Double beach? Yeah. I'm already tired though. Andrews. Drogba is a minor celebrity in St Andrews. He got asked for his picture twice. We bumped into loads of you guys and it was really really nice so thank you everyone that came up and said hi. I went to Paper Chase and got some more stationery <laughs> and I got Drogba a little pot of spinach and eggs which is actually really good for dogs. His birthday meal. That's his, that's his birthday lunch. We probably can do one of the eggs. We're going to the beach now. Drop is kind of tired already though. He's lying down. He won't be as soon as he sees that sign. As soon as he sees the beach, he'll be delighted. And the beach that we're going to is called Kinshaudy Beach at Tentsmere Forest. It is one of the nicest beaches, I think, in St Andrews. It's beautiful. It's one of the nicest beaches I've seen in Scotland. Do you think so? Aye. Uh, I really recommend getting here. It's not super easy to get to, but just look up Tentsmere Forest uh, postcode and you'll be able to find a postcode for it. This happens every time Jack leaves the car to go and get anything. <coughs> what is it, doggy boy? What's wrong? <laughs> we didn't get a trippy, we went for a Nando's and look at this. Jack's eating his Nando's off the floor. It's on a packet, it's on a, it's on a bloody, I'm not just eating it off the pavement, it's on a packet. <laughs> 
I got the nicest little note with my Nando's, right? It says, hi Jamie G, love your vids from Nando's Fife. Thanks very much. Cute speed note, we stopped off for a Nando's. Look at this, I have butter on my jeans from eating my corn. Jack's eating his corn outside with the dog. Like, I feel like a wee gremlin. You are like a Nando's hobgoblin. This is hilarious, but look, you've got, I've got a wee packet of chips. Dip it in some mayonnaise. Oh shit. Doba, are you having a fun birthday, bud? He's gonna get some of my chicken. Mm mm. Fun day out. <laughs> <laughs> So we just edited a lookbook for jeans and Jack's just looking at my, my body and thinking what the fuck am I going to do with this? <laughs> How am I meant to look, make this look good? It's my job to make this look good and it just doesn't! Redeem yourself! Go away. Say that I look nice. You do look nice. It's nothing to do with you. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to put it together. Go away. Go away. Say, say what the fuck. Sure. Boom, boom, boom. To continue Drog Biz birthday celebrations, he's out of food so we're taking him to the toy shop. Jack, show them what a woman on the verge of a mental breakdown looks like. <laughs> right. This is my outfit for today. This is the play, plain jumper war on the way home. These are my leggings I've not watched from the holidays. Pink socks and Adidas chairs. Hashtag OOTD. Hashtag shattered, help me. <laughs> Wanna go to the toy shop? Are you ready? Let's do it. Look at you all handsome. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Is that your favourite one, Drogba? Okay guys, sorry I've not filled you in at all, but basically I am down in London because I was filming with Jen Atkin, we sleeked my hair, <laughs> she said it was nice, I died, and now I'm at Dr. Dre and I'm going to get some treatments and I'm really excited, I'm very excited, what are the treatments called? Miso lift? Miso lift, which Dr. Dre invented himself, Yeah. and then you're going to get like a chin definition. Oh my god, the dream. So I'm getting the miso lift, which Dr. Dre actually invented himself. It's going to like fill my face full of vitamins, basically. I'll, I'll go into it more when we're getting it done. And then I'm getting a little bit of jaw definition treatment done as well, because you know that I absolutely love that. Looking adorable already. Thanks very much for my hair net. I literally just got a whole bunch of goodness injected into my face. <laughs> I've done. Yeah. What did you say? This is the best, the most beautiful I've ever looked. Oh. I feel like I've not chatted to you all day. It's been a crazy day. Look how slick my hair is. Just to recap, I've lost the nail. So that's great. Drogba actually ripped it off earlier. I stuck it back on. But today I was filming with Jen Atkin. It was amazing. It was so good to see her again. She is just one of my ultimate fave bays. Unfortunately, I did not know that I was meant to take my filming equipment with me. So the only thing I had to film with was this. So when I get home, I'm going to give the footage to Jack and we're going to do what we can with it and, and stick it up definitely because it was brilliant. It was really, really fun. And then... I went to Dr. Dre, who is a is a clinic in London. They've got a London clinic and a Paris clinic. And I went for a mesofacial, which is basically like loads of vitamins being blasted into your face. It's something that Dr. Dre created himself. It's like his unique formula. And it's like a facial all over. It only takes like 10 minutes, but it's applied with like a gun. that has got a needle, like don't be scared, but it's a gun with a needle on the end of it. And it goes 
it basically injects all your skin with these amazing vitamins and peptides and straight away your skin looks like unbelievable it was really amazing it's not the cheapest it's 200 pounds but you get it done twice a year i am definitely going back to get it done i can already see the results it's pretty instant but then the results continue to work for like six months which is sick and then i ended up getting a calcium it was like getting filler in my jaw but they use calcium instead of filler so it's a completely like natural product and i cannot believe the difference obviously i've been working on this area of my face for so long now but this is like i sat up and i looked in the mirror and i was like oh my god couldn't believe it the doctor who did my stuff was french and then the owner dr dre is french as well and they were just standing in front of me speaking speaking in French, can I say, and okay, do, 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 here and here, and then they pointed underneath my eyes. I never knew this was a thing, right? But you just pointed, and I used to have a pretty deep crease under my eyes. It's called your eye trough. They bloody put like hyaluronic acid under there, and I have no eye bags anymore. So I don't really know what happened, but I basically ended up getting like a pure facial makeover, and I'm obsessed with myself. I can't believe it. I don't think, like, see when it was all happening, my face is really numb. I got numbing cream put on it, so my face feels a bit numb. It's coming back now. But when I was getting all this done, I was kind of sit sitting there and I was thinking, shit, I'm going to end up looking mental. Like, remember, I, I don't know if you guys will remember, and you guys are so sweet that you'll say that it wasn't the case, but I went a little bit crazy with lip filler at one point. I've not had my lips done in ages, and if I ever do get them done, I'll only ever get like little tiny bits topped up. I'll never get that crazy again. And also, I was pretty nuts with the Botox at one point, and my eyebrows were like, crazy. I know that I still love those things, but I think that I've managed to get a nice balance now. So yeah, I thought I was going to end up looking like that again. I was like, oh shit. And I've honestly, I'm so happy. I think it's made my chin area, like what they've done here, they've built up this back part. It's basically like what like I've wanted forever. Like I think that all these little steps that I've been doing in this label form have helped me get to this stage. And then those guys just like they did the damn thing obviously i know for you guys in scotland it's not the best and you guys in america it's not the best because they're based in london and paris but that was brilliant really happy really happy so it was a really nice surprise <laughs> i just checked into the sanderson hotel it is my favorite hotel well it's one of my favorite hotels in london they're really really sweet here the rooms are lovely like i'll show you huge big room i've got my bed over there I got my little seating area, I had a prep, I was starving. Got my nice big bed, TV that comes out the wall. I've got this huge big bath, chic little like sink and mirror. It's just lovely, look, and all these like, whoa, wow, billy wee curtains. It's just beautiful. Usually when I come to London, I don't have a bath. I, it's, the hotels and rooms are usually really, really small. So I have a bath, which means I'm gonna have a bath. So I think I'm gonna go to Lush, pick up a bath bomb. I'm meeting my friend Jen for dinner in one hour and five minutes. And it's like four minutes away from here and Oxford Street's really close to here as well. So I think I'm just gonna go to Lush, pick up a bath bomb. I've got a suitcase now. I got a suitcase when I was here. I got delivered here, very excited. Away, it's called. And they really kindly sent me one so I can take home some stuff. So I might just go and pick up some nice things. And maybe a Muji. Ooh, I'm gonna go to Muji, right? Okay, I need to go now. I need to go now. I'll probably won't see you until dinner, but that's what I'm gonna do so you know already, okay? Ah, oh, cute straw. Mm-mm. Just got some breakfast. I got too much. I got porridge and an omelette, croissants, coffee, and then this juice, which is meant to have kale in it, but it tastes really good. I've stayed at this hotel a few times now, and the doorman knows my name. He's called Phil. Honestly, honestly, you guys, honestly. Usually when I wake up in London, I'm really hungover. <laughs> but I feel great today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my makeup. So when I get to Glasgow, I actually look normal for once. And I mean, Jack can do something. I have a new video going up tonight. So I'm all sorted, I've done all my work. I'm really happy. I might give Jack the footage of me and Jen from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Got really excited. Cause I can tell you guys, I'm really, really buzzing, really buzzing. You know, I, get, I go on trips a lot and it's amazing and I get so excited about everyone. When I found out about this trip I'm going on in less than two weeks, I cried, <laughs> I actually cried. I am going to Tokyo with YSL in less than two weeks and Jack's getting to come. And I'm so excited. We're going with another couple from the UK who are really close friends of ours. So it's gonna be just brilliant. I'm just beside myself. And I'm back down to London next week. So I'm in, I'll get home today. And then I think I've got about a week at home, which is gonna be so good. It's gonna be so nice. I'm gonna get filming, it's gonna be productive. So I've got loads of stuff ready for you guys for when we're in Japan. I'm feeling really, really lucky.
And then this two. Wonder. <laughs> I just got home, well I got home a couple of hours ago actually. Me and Jack are going to our favourite new place for dinner. Oshi. Oshi. It's in the village at East Kilbride and it is the best Japanese food ever. Think yo sushi merged with Wagamama times 50. It's like actually really really good food. Excuse my face, I look like a crazy person today. We went there last week and we're going back like five days later. We just absolutely loved it. It was so good. It was really reasonably priced as well. London was brilliant. Told you about Japan. I told them about Japan. Yeah. So that's another reason that we really wanted to go tonight because we're getting excited. And we just booked our flights to Italy to do our first start of the wedding preparations. So it's been a really, just a really great day. Give me that toy. Give me that toy. <laughs> Can I have it back? Please. Give me that toy. Give me that toy. <laughs> Give me that toy. Give me that toy. Yeah. Yes, it did. <laughs> Good morning. I slept last night for the first time with my silk pillowcase. What? My silk pillowcase. Oh, that thing was incredible. Where did you buy that? Jack wants it. I got given it for a present. I only got to try it last night for about 10 minutes, but it was good. <laughs> oh, Jack's so hard. Life's so hard. We're up early and I'm going to go and get my second bout of laser from Caroline. Caroline is my, my lady, my skin lady, and she's doing laser hair removal for me. And just to let you guys know, me and Carly have been working together for ages and ages and she's got a little discount code if you use my name just because she's great. I don't get any money for it or anything like that. It's just, it basically gives you guys 25% off. When you get in touch with her, you just say Jamie25, just say I would like to use Jamie's discount code. It's Jamie25 and you get 25% off all treatments. So I will pop her Instagram here. And you can just get in touch with her. The laser hair removal, I've only had one session so far and oh my god, it's definitely working. So that's what's happening this morning. And then I, yeah, I've I managed to make myself get in a right mess again. Oh wait, I try that again. I didn't do it right. <laughs> uh, happy Easter everyone. It's Hope everyone nice. has a good Easter. Easter. It's good Friday. Yeah, have a good bank holiday weekend if you're off, if you're out and yeah. about doing things. Yeah. Eating chocolate. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs> I managed to get myself in a right state with this house. The house is a mess again. <laughs> we need to hoover it. Thank you, babe. My makeup room's a mess. And I'm actually going to start getting packed for Japan because we leave a week tomorrow. And I thought it was a lot longer than that. So we've only got a week at home. Um, and I'm actually in London for a day next week as well. So today is going to be a life admin day. And you know that when I'm doing life admin, I don't really vlog that much. I'm going to leave the camera at home for laser this time. I will see you guys later on the flip side. I've got some power to eat. Bye. <laughs> Come here. Too fast. Find you in the state.